the Hindu mm. claims that he has experiences. The Muslim says he has experiences. The Buddhist says he has experiences when he meditates. Uh -huh. Yes? Uh -huh. The Jew may say, you know, that I have experiences when I meditate, when I worship. Now, clearly, an experience or that feeling of that experience mm -hmm. should not be the sole factor of convincing somebody of the truth. So this is what we're calling you to, brother. Right. We're calling you to come to Islam and to believe in Jesus, but believe in the right concept of Jesus. were for revelation from God. And if we deny that as Muslims, we can no longer be Muslims. Okay. We have to accept that as, a, as an article of faith. Just as we have to accept the words of Moses, peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. But all I say to my Christian brothers and sisters is this, is that the if, the if, if, the, if the evidence is there, if the evidence is there to show addition, to show subtraction, or to show possible fabrication, then it is only reasonable to say that we cannot trust everything that's being told to us and have a more critical way of thinking. That's all we're saying. We're not saying it's all false, but I think Christians need to accept, I think being honest, yeah. that it's not all true as well. That's all true. Yeah. You know, that's the point, right? He was interested in the Trinity. He wanted to know what the autonomy is not real. So, you know, so if you look at Trinity. so if you look at uh, b critical biblical scholars today, mm -hmm. they accept that the earlier Gospels refer to Jesus more as a man, and the later Gospels seem to transform him from this human figure into a more divine figure. Now, again, this is not a contentious part, or, or a part of. Uh, of great debate, we can easily open up the scriptures and see which were the earlier revelation, uh, earlier gospels, mm -hmm. and the later gospels, and we can actually make this comparison. Do, do you see my point? Yeah. And and I think one of the very uh, great issues that I think Brother Imran raised was that you have some verses that were being quoted in the Bible about uh, the Father, the, the 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 Son, and the Spirit, and these three are one. Okay, in later gospels, uh, in in later uh, you know gospels that we find today, and then when the earlier gospels are found, those verses don't even exist. Okay, and again, this is not a contentious part. This is not an attack by Muslims against Christians. What we're saying is that look, we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of the mightiest messengers of God. He was born to a virgin. The Quran attests to that. It attests to the fact that Jesus, there's a whole chapter in the Quran called Mary. And it says that she was a noble woman. In fact, it goes further. The Quran says, God has chosen thee, jo cho chosen thee above the women of all nations. Allah elevates the, 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 the uh, Mary to a level of better than all nations. Okay, mm -hmm. so we respect her. We love her, we love Jesus, we respect Jesus, but we don't call him God. Oh. And we don't worship him. We, don't worship. we worship the one that Jesus worshipped. Mm -hmm. That was the Father, that was God. Oh, okay. So we worship the same God that Jesus bowed to and threw his face on the floor to, mm -hmm. that Moses bowed to and threw his face on the floor to, and oh. we throw our faces on the floor to that same God. Okay. That's what we believe. But we do not believe and we do not accept that Allah can have a son or a daughter or offspring and that we should also worship those offsprings. We don't accept this. We regard this in Islam as a, as a very severe and high form of blasphemy. So the Quran clearly says, Lam yalid wa lam yulad God does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing comparable to God. This is what we believe, that God is unique. Whatever you imagine, 
of God, that's not God. It's out of your imagination. This is what we believe. Oh. And we only worship, we only offer our, our, our uh, admiration and our thanks and our worship to the one and only creator that created everything, including Jesus. This is what we believe. Right. Okay? But this is not an attack on our Christian brothers and sisters. Sometimes some discussions are had here, they're ill-mannered. And, and, and they're attacking one another and they're disrespecting one another and I don't think those should happen. And in Islam, it's actually forbidden to ridicule other people's gods because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, do not swear at Allah, do not curse Allah. And when the companion said, how would we ever curse Allah? He said, do not curse the gods of others so that they curse your God. So there has to be a level of etiquette and manners and decorum mm -hmm. and we should operate with that. True, true. You know? That makes sense. So where are you from? Are you from the UK? Or? Yeah, Jamaica. Oh, from Jamaica? Live here, yeah. All your life? No, 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 no. So, originally from Jamaica? Originally from Jamaica. You can ask so, a question. so you left a really lovely, beautiful country with beautiful weather <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and lovely food <laughs> and you came and you came down here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Milton, you can ask him any questions about Christianity. I'm actually, I'm actually not an expert on Christianity. So, so, I don't so normally, why are you? I, why I don't are you? normally talk about Christianity, to be honest. Mm. Because my, my knowledge of Christianity actually is much weaker than say brother Hamza or brother Imran. Right. Uh, but you know, these are the very basics that I can tell you basically. The basics, yeah. 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 Right. right. See, if I, see, if I said to you, brother, you know, if you were to go to a court of law mm. and the judge gave you a, a cross-examination or the barrister on the other side gave you a cross-examination yeah. and you came up with a different account, a different story. And if you left things out and you added things, and some things were seen as a fabrication, would your testimony be trusted? No, no. It wouldn't be trusted, right? No, no. And, and that's our point. Our point is that if you can prove, and I, and, I, and I emphasize this point, if you can show that these things have happened, then be, come on, let's be honest and just say, look, if these things are clearly, manifestly, evidentially true, we have to then question whether everything we're being told is true or not. Right. You see, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's all we're saying. You know. Right, right. So, what do, what do you what do you believe? I'm about? a I'm a Christian from okay. my home in okay. Jamaica. So, um, I enjoyed the, came here and joined the British Army. I was okay. in the British Army. Okay. But unfortunately, I want to be careful not to mess with you then. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I met in an, an accident. So that's where I became stronger oh, with okay. God. Okay. Um, where we were in a swimming pool and they found me in the deep end of the swimming pool okay. in a place called Winchester. Okay. So the I was in a coma for two years. Oh my so God! That I was going to die. You, could, you can't swim? No, no. Oh no. my Jamaica God. Can't swim. Oh my God. <laughs> no, not really. So they throw but you they, in the deep end? They throw me in the deep end. And you went unconscious? Yeah. But, no, they didn't realize that I was missing. Oh my God. For some reason. So I ended up in coma for, for like oh two weeks. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Doctors say 40% chance of survival. Even if I survive, I'll be cabbage. Oh my God. But then a miracle happened because people were praying and praying That's and praying. Good. That's so that's why I, I believe I know I, there's a lot. I understand. But no, I, I'm listening to you. I understand. You, which I, agree. Um, I don't agree with you. But I understand. I won't change your as well. You know, brother, I'm, what it is, it's um, what we say to our Christian brothers and sisters is that there are certain things that unite us. Yeah, yeah. We all believe in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe that, even you believe the Father is what? Because I've experienced it, the Spirit. Yeah, no, I understand, spirit. I understand. Look, and you see the thing here is this, brother. Sorry, what's your name? Milton. Milton Abbas, yeah? Oh, nice so, to rest of you. Milton, you see, the Hindu mm. claims that he has experiences. The Muslim says he has experiences. The Buddhist says he has experiences when he meditates. Uh -huh. Yes? Uh -huh. The Jew may say, you know, that I have experiences when I meditate, when I worship. Now, clearly, an experience or that feeling of that experience mm -hmm. should not be the sole factor of convincing somebody of the truth. Would you accept that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So rationality has to come into it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And rationality would, I believe, and of course it's my, my opinion, and you could say maybe I'm wrong, but please uh, analyze that and, mm -hmm. and then give me some feedback, which is that rationality says that if I claim something is from God, mm -hmm. then, then there are certain things that must exist within that scripture to validate its 
truthfulness mm -hmm. and its validity for me to actually follow it. Would you right. accept that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would believe that one of those would have to be preservation. It has to be preserved. Preserved. Because if it's not preserved, how can I trust it, right? Right. The other one is it should be free from contradiction. So what is preserved? preserved so preserved means that if, if God, yes. So, so if God revealed the Bible, yeah. then we should have that Bible that God revealed. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. where is that Bible can be found? Of course not. And we, but this is not something controversial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we believe that obviously there were tens of thousands of manuscripts. Mm -hmm. They were collected at a much later date. And we can prove today with, again, with experts in critical biblical scholarship yeah. from America, from France, from Germany, from the UK, okay, who can show how certain things were not in earlier scriptures and that they've actually been added in later. And now some of them have been removed again. And some of them do affect even the very doctrinal belief of the Trinity, for example. Right. Okay? So then the question arises, brother, that using our rationality, mm -hmm. we should at least then, I'm not saying we throw it away and we don't accept any of it, mm -hmm. but we should at least be open to questioning its validity. Right. That's, right. A, that's a rational, that's a rational conclusion to come to, mm. right? To be honest, I studied the Bible, but yes. not deep enough. I understand. And so, but the things I've read, I believe some, but yes. I agree with you that it's been, it can be fabri it's fabricated. Right. Yeah, it's not exactly the word that man adds stuff. Man's added stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I believe the word of God. Yes. But as they said, no, I'm a bit confused. We are to believe and we are not to believe. I understand. Because it's been fab fabricated. Of course. Of course. I totally agree with you. And you know, this is why, we, that, this is why in, in the Quran, Allah explains this phenomena. Mm. He explains that they add to the scriptures with their own hands and they aspire it to God. Right, right, right. Yeah. Allah explains this, this phenomena that mm -hmm. previous people, the scribes, they changed Allah's words. Okay. To, and and what you've got, what you what you have to obviously address here is what is the motivation for somebody mm -hmm. to add or subtract or change the words of God rationally? Right. What would the motivation of that person be? It could be some monetary gain. Yeah. It could be power. To control. To control. Mm. Or it could be that you already believe a particular doctrine. Mm -hmm. And to reinforce that doctrine, you make those added additions and changes. You understand my point? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is we find all of these things with the Bible. Mm -hmm. So the King James version of the Bible was by King James, right? Right, right. Yeah. Why did he commission that Bible? Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to tweak certain laws and certain things mm -hmm. to suit himself, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we see that power and manipulation has occurred okay yeah. and then we also see statements that are explicit in terms of how they change the doctrine where it says the father the son and the, and the holy ghost are one and then later it's found out actually that's a fabrication so it's not they're not it wasn't one. it was it wasn't in the bible it was in the bible no or if you go to i think is it john um uh, I'll have to get the quote of Imran, what Christianity where, preach about where, that? where it says, for example, uh, that, the, that these three bear in heaven, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, you know, or where it says, for example, uh, that the term Jesus, the begotten, begotten and not made. Mm -hmm. That verse has been removed as well. Now, if you look at this story of the adulterous woman, mm -hmm. he, he who has not sinned cast the first stone for the adulterous woman. That is now found out that it wasn't existing in the Codex Sinaiticus, the oldest Bible that we have in the British Library. Right. So now they've removed that as well. Mm. And so, when did this, this, this remove that? It's been removing gradually? gradually so, so, so obviously what's happened is in the last 20, 30, 40 years, okay. biblical scholarship has really accelerated. Because obviously things are now done much more professionally, academically. You have computers. To, uh, to assimilate, to, you know, information, mm. to share information. Yeah. So 
actually a lot of work has been done in the last say half century okay and a lot of this information that wasn't known um, is now known right and, and the more they're investigating brother the more they're finding out mm -hmm. that the in fact there are some estimates that the discrepancies and inaccuracies between the uh, uh, between the different uh, the different scriptures that they found basically mm -hmm. some estimate them as little as a hundred thousand errors mistakes mm -hmm. some estimate them as much as four hundred thousand yeah errors or mistakes mm -hmm. which effectively is more words than in the Bible right you know now again what I'm saying to you brother so is this live in London. I live in London yeah so what is what we're saying to you brother is as Muslims mm -hmm. is that look don't throw the belief away of Jesus right right because we believe in him and we love him and we respect him we admire him mm -hmm. we learn from his example mm -hmm. don't throw away just as just as I would say to the Jew don't throw away the teachings of Jesus right just as I would say to the followers of Abraham don't throw away the teachings of 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 Moses mm -hmm. and of Jesus you understand yeah 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 mm -hmm. and similarly i would say to you brother mm -hmm. don't throw away those teachings but also accept the last teaching okay. the last testament the last prophet which is prophet muhammad peace be upon him okay accept what he tells you as well because he confirms some of the things that are revealed in the scriptures before mm -hmm. and he corrects some of the things that have clearly been a, a, a fabrication and an addition to those scriptures and now we can prove it mm -hmm. and he clarifies and corrects those as well right, right so the prophet muhammad says peace be upon him i'm only a man a messenger sent to you by god the creator and this revelation is not my revelation this is from allah this is from god he does not attribute any miracle to himself or any power to himself right, or any right. form of divinity to himself mm -hmm. in fact in islam if you worship the prophet muhammad peace be upon him you have committed the greatest crime that you can commit which is in all of the abrahamic religions which is to do uh, to associate partners with the creator which is idolatry to worship something other than the father mm -hmm. to worship something other than the creator was blasphemy in the Old Testament teachings of Abraham teachings of Noah all of the teachings were consistent mm -hmm. right don't worship anything other than the father the creator right, right. all of a sudden now mm. 2000 years ago the claim is being made we don't accept the claim but the claim is being made that Jesus is saying I am also God mm -hmm. that I was with the father from the beginning eternally we are co-equal but we're not co-equal okay. because think about it if I say I'm co-equal that means I'm exactly the same as you equal to you in every way mm -hmm. if the father is more powerful if the father is more knowledgeable if the father is in charge of the son how, how is that being co-equal it's not co-equal mm -hmm. and God does not share his divinity and his power crazy, with yeah. anything that's his majesty mm -hmm. The king of kings right yeah. he doesn't need to share his divinity he doesn't need to say, uh, share his power with anything or anyone mm -hmm. no, no, no. because he's one and only he is absolute point. right mm -hmm. so this is what we're calling you to brother right we're calling you to come to islam and to believe in jesus but believe in the right concept of jesus look just as after abraham and the teachings of Abraham mm -hmm. Moses came peace be upon him why did he come to correct humanity where humanity had slipped into error okay. when 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 uh, uh, when when Moses came after Abraham right mm -hmm. what did he do Sa same thing right? right when Jesus came why did he come mm -hmm. to correct the Jews where they had fallen into error this is the this is the nature of prophethood mm -hmm. that it comes with revelation to clarify things that were from the past to amend things for the future but also to make sure that wherever humanity have again slipped into idolatry or wrongdoing 
it corrects them. So what we're saying to you, brother, is that just as you know, we gain a little bit of weight or whatever, mm -hmm. or we lose a little bit of weight, we don't have to throw away the expensive suit. Mm -mm. You go to the tailor, you say, look, okay, make some changes, you know, mm. put a little bit of fabric in here or just make it a little bit fit, a little bit nicer there. Yeah. That's all we're asking you to do mm. is make those changes when something has clearly come after right. Prophet Jesus to clarify the nature of Jesus and the nature of God. Right. Well, I have some stuff to read anyway. Alhamdulillah. So this, so this will help. So inshallah, you take our number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a call if you need to uh, discuss yeah. further. Oh, wait, where is, where, where is the number? I'll give it to you, inshallah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can text me or whatever, inshallah, and we can... Yeah? We've got some books here as well. I don't know what books you've got there. I've got them from uh, Chicago Square. Okay, I've got some books here as well, actually. Let me just get... Perfect. Perfect. You know what? I'll tell you something, you know. Alhamdulillah, once you study Islam with an open heart and an open mind... All in English. They're all in English. The Quran is all in English. It's a very good, actually, uh, copy. It's very easily read. But, but inshallah, ta'ala, if you come to it... With, inshallah, with an open heart and open mind, yeah. just like many other Jamaicans I've met <laughs> who've accepted Islam, okay. inshallah, you will accept it. Okay. Inshallah. And it will open up, honestly, brother, a completely different dimension in your life. Because for once, you will know brother, the blessing in Islam. But one of the beauties in Islam, when you give the shahada, you can see to give the testimony that I accept Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a prophet, and I accept the one and only God. Mm -hmm. This is how you become Muslim. Okay. okay. When you accept Islam by giving this, uh, by, by saying this and believing, mm -hmm. all of your past sins, we're told, are forgiven. Oh. So do you do baptism? There's no need though. There's okay. no need for baptism. <laughs> this is automatic baptism. Okay? So first of all, all of your previous sins are mm. forgiven. Right. And Allah and then we're told that all of your sins are changed to giving you credits of of of, of good goodness. Is it? So not only are you forgiven, right. but all of your faults will be repaid to you back in, 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 good, in good credits. <laughs> So it's a fantastic thing. And not only that, but inshallah, it will open up your eyes in terms of truly how God wants us to worship Him. Not how we perceive it, or not how people have told us to, but actually how God instructs us to. And you know the amazing thing? In the Garden of Gethsemane, we're told that Jesus worships the Father. Yeah. Do you know how it describes him worshipping the Father? How? He puts his face onto the ground. Oh, so that's how you guys worship? Face on the ground? You know on the mountain, when Moses goes to the mountain yeah. and with his sons and he's instructed to take off his shoes mm -hmm. and they do ablution, they wash themselves. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, do yeah. the same thing by we the way. We do the same. And then they put their knees and their hands mm -hmm. and their faces onto the ground and they worship their Lord. Right, yeah, yeah. I've seen how you guys worship. We do it in the same way. You kneel down and... Same way. Well, Christians same way. do this, hands up in the right. air. Right. Where does this come from? No, but when you do this, you feel the, you, you feel the but, connection. But, but, the, but the issue is, look, yeah. the issue is this. Does God, does Allah want me to worship Him in that way? Or am I just doing something that makes me feel good? No, 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 it's not about making you feel good because it happened to me on a number of occasions. You go up to the church, you pray. But like, when you want to receive the Holy Ghost, yes. yes. So you go up to the church and you start praising God. Forget about everything. Forget about the world. Just focus on God Himself. Yes. So you're thanking Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So you're going back and thanking God yes. for what He has done. Yes. Forget about your sins, everything. Because you're going to forget about your sins. Yeah. Forget. Then you start to feel like something come on you and you go down yes. like that. Yes. Then you start to stutter in tongue. The tongue starts to get like tied up. Yeah? Tied up, tied up. But if you're lucky enough, then you can start speaking in tongues. Yeah. If sorry, you're lucky sorry. enough, then you yeah. can start speaking in tongues. See, the thing is... But I didn't reach that far. I understand. But it's possible. Speaking Look, in tongues, different language. Brother, the thing here is, yeah. the Buddhists will say the same thing to you. And the Muslim? 
the Muslim would say the same thing to you. When I'm in sajda and I'm praying to Allah and I completely lose myself in the remembrance, mm. then I, everything ceases to exist around me. Right. And I'm connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm in a, in a euphoric, a euphoric, uh, you know, uh, place. Where, oh, you know, time doesn't matter, matter doesn't matter, nothing matters. So you speak different languages? No, we don't speak different languages. No? But the, but the reality here is this. Many people who've claimed here that they have the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. When we ask them to speak in different languages, they can't. They can't. They, 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 when we say to them, you know, uh, translate what I'm saying to you in Bengali, for example, or in, in Urdu, or in Arabic. They can't. They can't. It's my, not my, like that. My, 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 point, my point to you is this. If I just make some sounds, uh -huh. and, I'm say, and I say that I'm speaking in tongues. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean it's true, does it? No, it That's not the... Look, what I'm trying to say to you is that we can claim a lot of things. I, a Christian can claim when I do this, it feels like, you know, I'm lost and I'm in this trance. Mm -hmm. There are people who don't believe in God and do yoga. Yeah. And they can get themselves into a state of meditation and trance of peace or whatever it might be. Mm, they can, yeah. Right? That's not the way that you verify the validity of whether what you're doing is right or wrong. It's not about how you feel, per se. Mm -hmm. But it's fundamentally, first of all, does God want me to do this? Where does it say that I should do this? And where has it instructed me to do it in this way? Mm. Because, look, if you say that you submit to the will of God, and I say as a Muslim that I submit to the will of God, right? What does submission mean? Submit everything. In other words, whatever the Creator says, whatever you hear, you accept. Because it comes from Allah. It comes from God. You understand my point, brother? Yeah. If I now say, no, I like running around the park, uh, you know, skipping and shouting something, and it makes me feel euphoric and I feel connected to God, will that be accepted to God? No. That's different. I'll say that's you understand my point? Yeah, yeah. So if you say to me that we do this type of worship, mm -hmm. if you can verify that ver worship, validate it, that it's come from the Creator, mm -hmm. then you have a very strong argument. So you don't think that won't come from the Creator? No. Well, to, shall we wear in the Bible it says that you're supposed to be doing all of these sort of things? Mm. That this is how Jesus worshipped God? Waving his arms around and, and singing hymns and things like this. It doesn't say this. In fact, when it says Jesus prayed, it shows him on the ground with his face on the ground. Right, right, right. And this was the way that all of the prophets prayed. Mm. Because this was the ultimate submission. And we are not allowed to bow like that in front of anybody, even a king. Right, right. This position of prostration is reserved solely for the Creator. We can't do this in front of anybody or anything. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. But we say that God has told us to worship in this way. So we, you worship in a mass? Is a, we don't have to worship in a mosque. I can pray here if I want to. Oh, okay. But if I want to pray in a congregation, a mosque, mosque, a mosque, mosque. masjid in, in, in uh, yeah. if we want to pray in congregation, yeah. obviously a mosque is easier because it's a clean place, mm -hmm. it's a quiet place, mm -hmm. and it makes it easy to obviously perform the prayer there. Yeah. So we go to the mosque, and also there's a brotherhood and a sisterhood where people come together. A mosque actually is supposed to be not just a place of worship. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a place where you meet one another, right, yeah. you help one another, you find out about one another. It's, a, it's supposed to be more of a community thing. Okay, okay. Not just a prayer hall, mm -hmm. you see? Um, even though perhaps many mosques now, they open the doors, people pray, they're all busy, they go work and they're doing this. Come and they're doing. Back here, yeah. But generally it was supposed to be more of a place where if the brother is in need, you haven't showed up to the mosque for two days, mm -hmm. I come to your house or for one day, mm -hmm. brother, are you okay? Do you need help? What's, this is what it was supposed to be. Okay. okay. So including, of course, the prayer, but uh, a social thing as well. Right. And thanks for the information, because I got to run soon. I'll really, keep in touch really with you. Really nice to meet you, yeah? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you. Come yeah. in. Keep in touch. We go. Yeah, I'm going to come with you. We have a okay. coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Sound good. Bye. 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 Bye.